What's up y'all? So we're going to go over the intake uh, runners, intake port on these heads that we're working on. This may be the last video of the series. I'm not sure. I'm not going to really do much more to these heads. So I may actually post another one that we can see the uh, finish of the exhaust and uh, not going to do much more to the intake port so so i'm going to go ahead and let y'all have a look at those <clears throat> so here's some with some light shining in it it may be hard to see but as you can take a look there i took the rocker stud boss or lump whatever what you want to call it out and um, it made a hard sharp drop off on this back side which I had to work down make it uh, a little bit smoother flow along the this wall otherwise it was just gonna kind of shoot more straight toward the stem area I felt like and you can see I worked this swirl ramp down that's on the left side of your screen and kind of blended it in and then I really just kind of blended that part in also on the right side it was kind of a sharp um, step up now here's one that doesn't have any light in it you can kind of see maybe a little bit better focus there we go And you can see the swirl ramp was worked down and over on the right side. And you can see I contoured the uh, valve stem boss. The only other thing I'm going to do on the intake port is I'm probably actually going to smooth it up a little bit. Go in there and hit it with uh, 80 grit sand rolls and then follow it up with 60 grit. That way it has a rough texture to it and you know, I won't run into fuel puddling problems. I did very little bowl work. Uh, just kind of smoothed it out. Um, major area right here, I guess, as far as overhang. It has to be blended in. And the um, reason why I didn't do much bowl work is I don't know exactly how big my valve seat opening will be after the valve job. He will open this up when he does the valve job. But I didn't want it to be a lot bigger, so. It would just run into the back of the seat then. But that's uh, just an update on the cylinder heads and what I'm gonna do. So I may make another video and kind of go over both ports once they're done. I just wanted to show you I hadn't done a whole lot of work to the intake, but it should increase flow enough. I feel like as long as I can get to the 270 CFM to 280 CFM uh, at 600 lift range, and then I can I should be able to achieve the 500 horsepower goal that I'm shooting for. So I hope that helps y'all out. I wanted to get footage <clears throat> of me actually doing it, but I uh, just didn't have anybody to do the camera work and basically couldn't hold it and do the work at the same time. So but that gives y'all an idea of what you need to take down 
and uh, hope that helps you out. But I'm gonna try to get these uh, sent off to the machine shop next week and get started getting the uh, six O put together to go in the Malibu. You know, and if that uh, hopefully that interests y'all and if it does. If you hadn't seen the Malibu um, videos yet, go check them out on the channel. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you find this uh, helpful or even entertaining. I don't know if it's been entertaining yet, but uh, lots more to come. We're going to get into putting some... Um, race videos of the Malibu at the track. There'll be another project coming along. Don't know when I'll introduce it just yet because plans are kind of to take the Malibu's motor out and uh, put it in the other project. So hit the uh, subscribe button to stay updated and uh, comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.